Judge in the corner, does a spin move, works along the end line. Pass right along the white stripe, comes out in front, and they score! And just like that, moments into this ball game, Lindsey Bennett, two minutes and change into the contest, gives the Huskies the one nothing lead here in the first half. Comes back to the top again. Here's a chance walking all the way in and firing it just wide. A rebound chance is put home! And a great job of James Madison sticking with it. Looked like it might have been Jenna Taylor in front who finally got the last stick on it. Carolina Judge, the sophomore from nearby Lewis, Delaware. A couple fancy moves, lets it go, and it was not kicked out. It was kicked into the goal by Lena Wimmert. And Northeastern has jumped on top on a funky goal. 2-1 Huskies. Judge shot it towards the net, and Wimmert didn't get a good angle on it. Mirka with the back, nice backdoor pass. Here's a chance downstairs. Palumba walks in, the ball still loose in the crease, still being batted for a chance, and they score! Rachel Wine has tied the ball game, 12.54 to go. And what an answer by these tough and gritty JMU Dukes. Wine, the red shirt junior, has knotted it all up at two goals apiece. You're playing good hockey, you're playing good hockey. Let's finish this, come on. Oh, no. Go, ladies. Go. Comes all the way back, a high bouncer. Poland still has it, plays it across. Graham a shot and she scores! Through some traffic in front, she went across the green and Nikki Graham has given the lead back to the Huskies. 5.45 to go and Nikki Graham, who scored two goals in 18 games this year, comes up with a huge one. Poland couldn't play it so she had to give it up and then Graham found enough of a lane she went far side with it, and just missing with the pants was Wimmer. So now the Huskies, five and a half minutes away from going to the CAA championship game. Um, it was a really tough game, high pace, um, back and forth a lot. Um, really had to drop on defense to contain their attack, which was difficult at times, but I think we pulled it off. You know, we wanted to stretch the field a little bit in that area of the field, and um, you know, I thought one of our goals this year is to be able to get to the goal, rush the goal with numbers a little bit more, and uh, especially near the end of the season here, that's been a focus, and, and I thought they did a really good job with that, and that's why we scored. I think at this point in the season, you have short corners, you have set plays, and if things break down, you just have to play off of each other, and that's what we had to do, and uh, Crystal was able to slip it to me, and you know, I'm here, my teammates yelling, shoot, and we just fired on net, and trying to execute even if it doesn't go as planned. Well, it wasn't supposed to be that, but um, being a team of adversity, um, we don't have a home field anymore, so we've been thrown to a lot of change. So uh, we have really good, we do a really good job of adapting. So when the ball popped up, um, we just kind of played it out until we put it in the net and uh, laid it off. And Worked out. <laughs> Jamie is very quick, and they just don't um, let up ever. You know, I saw that uh, yesterday against Hofstra, uh, and they did that the first time we played them. So I knew they wouldn't let up for 70 minutes, and uh, I respect that. And, and we knew we had to play tough for 70 minutes. I mean, it's a second chance, and you don't really uh, get to play teams a second time. And so they know us, we know them, and it's going to be who comes to play, who plays with their hearts, and it's going to be a battle out there for sure. Oh!